Hello beautiful Capricorn and welcome to your March 2020 horoscope where this month Capricorn not only do we have Saturn moving into the energy of Aquarius for a little flirtation a little preview of what's going to be coming to your finances over the next two and a half years you're going to get a sneak peek of that right here as we travel through March We've also got Mercury retrograde as we come into this month, and he's going to take a full travel in that retrograde back into another sign, but then he's also going to come out of retrograde this month and give us full permission. This entire chart will light up and give us full permission to move things forward. The sun will move into the energy of Aries, signaling not only cardinal time, yes, let's take action and move forward, but also the spring equinox, unless you're one of our southern hemisphere friends, and you'll also be entering your new season into autumn. So whatever it is you're moving in, whatever you've been gathering information about for the last couple months, the shifts you saw in January, the information you gathered in February, it's applicable to motion now as we're here in March. And a lot of the motion you're going to be taking, um, a lot of the action is going to be about getting your foundation set and solid underneath you. You're taking a lot of action. This is still fairly personally independent, so it's really still on you, Capricorn, to be making your own way, right? So we'll talk a little bit about that as we begin to travel through what's happening this month. Now, one thing I do want to bring your attention to before we jump into the actual transits of this particular month is that we've got... Jupiter, whose luck, fortune, expansion, all of that good stuff. He is in your first house, and he's also traveling, though, very closely with Pluto. Now, why I care about that is that in the general reading only, Pluto also rules over your 11th house up here, Scorpio. Right, And this is important to me because it tells me that while you're needing to be very personally independent this month and go, make your own happiness, make your way, define who you are, you may need a grouping of people. You may need friends. You may need a social media group to help you do that. Your expansion will very much so come from the depth of these energies, giving you a signal that you don't have to work alone, but you do have to make your own way. So I just want to put that out there for your consideration this month, okay? All right, let's get in here. Right at the beginning of the month, we've got Mercury, who is still in retrograde in the energy of Pisces, taking his travels backwards into the energy of Aquarius. Now, this is going to go from lighting up your third house to your second house, okay? Mercury retrograde here in the second house gives me the indicator that something needs to be reseen or is trying to be revealed um, in your finances or in your value or in your self-esteem, Capricorn, right? You're needing to redo that. You're going back. You're re-looking at it. Capricorn, let me just ask you, you know, as we land in this Mercury retrograde, are you saying, wait a minute, how did I get so far away from who I was? You know, it doesn't mean your life is in shambles, but on the inside, truly on the inside, are you still growing? Do you feel aligned? Do you feel powerful? Or do you feel like it's time to relearn, restudy, reevaluate what's happening here in your, in your value sector? Now, the sun and Neptune are shining bright and loyal here in your third house. So truly, in a very spiritual way, if you have something to relearn, you'll be motivated to do it, and it will increase value. Do you have something else to relearn or restudy that will also just bring money to you? That's a really beautiful question I thing to be asking yourself as well in the second house with mercury retrograde you could be saying what do i have to give how am i going to take my talents my voice my whatever out into the world and make money how am i going to take my writing out into the world and make money this will give you a little bit of help to see that okay at the same time we've got venus moving out of the energy of aries where she was just passionate and fiery and just too much um, <laughs> now she's going to move home into the energy of taurus where she's very, very comfortable. But upon entry, Venus is going to conjoin with Uranian energy. So here in the fifth house, Venus, Uranus together can bring some romance to your table. And it's like really different or really unexpected or comes what feels like out of nowhere, right? So that could bring something absolutely to your table. My experience with this energy is if it brings someone as quickly as they br are brought to you is how quickly they leave as well. But you do you and let me know in the comment section down below because maybe there's a little bit more to the innovation of your love life that gets brought here. And if you do happen to be coupled up, this could just 
bring some new life to your table? You know, have you been in a rut? Are you guys just ready to experience something different? This is a wonderfully joyful house to have this experience in. Now, Venus is also over money. Right? So in something you enjoy, maybe on your children, on something you're trying to launch out that you enjoy, maybe you're spending money on sports games or travel or something like that, Venus could have you very busy in this fifth house with financial things as well as bringing some of it to your front door, okay? On the ninth, we're going to have a full moon that's happening in the energy of Virgo, lighting up your ninth house over here. Now, the full moon says that we need to end something, acknowledge something, or make an adjustment in some way, shape, or form. At the same time, Mercury is coming out of retrograde. So it is a wide open day where Mercury, as he's stationing, to his direct motion. This is where things can actually be very complicated. So if it's kind of a weird day, you feel emotional or you feel like you're being jostled around in some way, shape, or form, you can kind of chalk it up to these two energies doing what they do. But either way, the moon is revealing and lighting up and just completely illuminating things in your ninth house. Higher education, study, foreign language, foreign business, um, international travel could be happening here publishing, marketing, broadcasting. If you're traveling, this could be something that is going on for you. You could be preparing to travel because Mercury is just coming out of retrograde that day as well. Maybe you're traveling back to something or you're traveling back to someone. So you're traveling back to see that person, but you have now the forward motion to go and do it. So that could be something you consider, but if you need to study or learn or you want to go back to a course or something, that's a wonderful opportunity for you to expand or widen your, your view of things. Again, the sun and Neptune still shining brilliantly down here. Do you have a spiritual book for us? Do you have a spiritual video for us that you're going to share? Because that would certainly bring up your sense of self-esteem and value, right? All right, as we continue on, on the 16th, Mercury is fully back in forward motion now, moving back into the energy of Pisces. And just because Mercury's back in forward motion doesn't mean that it feels like we're out of Mercury retrograde, right? Mercury in the energy of Pisces, he's not just as intensely logical and he is not as intensely detailed as he'd like to be so sometimes mercury in pisces can feel like a retrograde itself so if that's your experience or you're finding yourself capricorn feeling a little bit more tired it is your chart it is the horoscope and the energies asking you to slow down Rest if you need to rest. Mercury acts as a health planet for you. Rest if you need to rest this month, okay? And give yourself a lot of grace around that. The other thing is spiritually. Are you listening? These guys are in alignment. We've got Mercury, the motivated sun, and Neptune here. Are you listening with your intellect or are you listening with your spirit? Intellect and humility are quite compatible provided that humility comes first. Listen with the spirit first and then allow it to guide you through your intellect, okay? On the 20th, we've got the sun getting out of all of that and moving into the energy of Aries. Now, we're also going to be bringing around the spring equinox. Unless you're one of our southern hemisphere friends, then you're going to be welcoming in autumn. But whatever you are welcoming in, we are welcoming a new season together. We get to step into what's next. We have full permission here for forward motion. You gathered information in January. You gathered information in February. Put it into action now, and the sun says, yes, please, let's do it. Now, the sun moving into Aries lights up your fourth house space here. You could be making a move. You could be making a move, literally moving your house. Or somebody could be moving into your house, right? Maybe one of the kids is coming back or something like that. Whatever it is, you could start to see changes around the fourth house zone here. But what you're looking for is action in the home zone. So if something you're needing to take action on is this idea of your self-esteem. You're gonna to need to be in action, be in motion doing esteemable things. Make your home a place of contentment. Make your home a place of headquarters, right? Aries is our warrior energy. Set up a solid headquarters for yourself or look at the inner energies you can from maybe the friend zone as to how you create that solid home. But whatever you're doing, be in action and go for it with some gusto because as well, Jupiter and Mars are going to be in conjunction on this day, and this energy says take initiative and be courageous. This is your go for it day on the 20th. So circle that on your calendar, my friends, and really use that energy well, okay? 
On the 21st, Saturn's going to move out of the energy of Capricorn and move into the energy of Aquarius. Now, Saturn rules Aquarius in traditional astrology, so he's just as comfortable working on you here in the second house as he was in Capricorn. Saturn coming into Aquarius is telling us that how you move through the world is important. The way that you value yourself, the way that you spend your money, the way that you set your prices for your visit, business, the possessions you have, these are important and you're going to need to get pretty serious about them. Now remember, this is only a taste from March until July to see what Saturn's going to be working on for you exactly. But it is about refining your value, your self-esteem, and we know that because Saturn rules your first house, you, and it's moving into Aquarius. So at the level of groupings, technology, things that connect you to other human beings, you have some value and you maybe need to get serious about how you're going to share that, right? So expect to see this work, especially from December for the next two years, okay? All right, on the 24th, we're going to have a new moon happening down here in Aries, which is lovely because, again, this could indicate a move for us. But at the new moon, we're planting these seeds of intention of what we would like next. How can we take forward? How, we can, how can we take forward? How can we go forward? But in the energy of Aries, what you must understand with this moon is that it is not about thinking anymore. It is about action. And there are about a bazillion action words in the dictionary. So you have to figure out which one fits your situation. But new things things may be illuminated. You may be traveled at this last moon. Are you, are you traveling to find your home, see your parents, do something like this, go back to where you feel like your home? This could all be great indicators with this moon. Now as we end the month, Mars is going to come down here and travel along with Saturn. So again, you are taking action in the second house for things that not only move your finances forward, not only help you get serious about moving those finances forward, but maybe connect you to other groupings and other beings as well that allows the value to come back to you. One of the things I just keep thinking is maybe you're getting some kind of digital or social media going or you're doing something that connects you socially that also will bring some value in here. Now Mars is still Mars. So I will tell you, in the energy of Aquarius, if you're going out into the world and you're connecting with groupings of people, remember Mars is Mars and does have a temper. So make sure you're fighting the right fights while you're out there, Capricorn, okay? All right, Caps, I love you, and I think it's going to be a good month. There's foundational work to be done so that you're set, you're steady, you're building your house on solid ground, okay? Like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I love you, and I will see you next month. Bye!